In today's video, we delve into Blazor for .NET 8, a notable advancement in the .NET ecosystem. We'll guide you through the new Blazor View template, demonstrating how you can craft an optimal user experience by harnessing the power of Vue.js, ASP.NET Core Identity, and Tailwind CSS. In previous versions of Blazor, developers had to make a crucial upfront decision to use either Blazor WebAssembly or Blazor Server. This choice had significant implications. With WebAssembly, it relies heavily on client-side resources, whereas Server faces challenges in high latency environments. However, in Blazor for .NET 8, it marks a significant shift in this approach. With the introduction of the new static rendering modes, it eliminates the need for extensive WebAssembly assets or stateful WebSocket connections, offering a fast SEO-friendly HTML output. This innovation in rendering technology simplifies the development process greatly, enhancing both the app performance and user experience. Moreover, the advantages of SSR or server-side rendering and static rendering are significant for modern web development. Fast and SEO-friendly content delivered through SSR ensures a quicker load time and better visibility on search engines. This approach accelerates iterative development, allowing for rapid testing and deployment of your changes. Furthermore, the ease of component reuse streamlines the development process, as components designed for static rendering can be efficiently integrated across various parts of your application with different render modes. To fully leverage the enhanced flexibility of Blazor for .NET 8, we've developed the Blazor View template as a comprehensive starting point for your next Blazor project. This template seamlessly integrates essential features like ASP.NET Core Identity, Vue.js, and Tailwind CSS, to name a few, all pre-configured and ready to use. And with Blazor View, you get an application that utilizes Blazor's static rendering by default, ensuring fast and efficient performance. To create your project with the Blazor View template, we can utilize the ServiceStack.NET X tool with the command x new space Blazor hyphen view space my app. This command creates a new solution with everything you need already ready to go. It uses SQLite as a database and also uses EF Core and server stack database migrations to initialize the ASP.NET Core identity tables as well as some example server stack auto query services. Opening the application for the first time, you'll see that our project has the familiar four distinct projects, the app host, service interface, service model, and tests project. This structure ensures a clean separation of concerns, facilitating scalability as your application grows. Within the app host project, you'll have your Blazor Vue.js application, which is integrated with your service stack services defined in the service interface project. When you run the application for the first time, you'll notice that all pages are interactive right away without the initialization of specific render modes. This is achieved without any Blazor server WebSockets or default WebAssembly resources downloaded, giving you an optimal starting point where you can still use c -sharp for server-rendered pages as well as Vue.js for interactivity. In this template, we also have the integration of ASP.NET Core Identity Pages for managing the user's profile. These pages are crafted using c -sharp and Blazor, effectively handling all the basic interactions for your account management. The styling is seamlessly managed using Tailwind CSS, providing a modern and responsive design. A notable aspect of this setup is the two-factor authentication page. Here we actually sprinkle in some interactivity using a plain JavaScript module for generating our QR codes. This integration exemplifies how we can use plain JavaScript modules or Vue.js within a predominantly C-sharp and Blazor-driven application. 
To efficiently load these Vue.js components, we use the data component and data module attributes. This attribute is used to specify the path of the necessary JavaScript module for the Vue component. And when the two-factor authentication page is rendered, the QR code generator component dynamically loads and is initialized, striking a balance between static content delivery and dynamic interactivity. Furthermore, the components from the service stack Blazor library have been updated to ensure compatibility. A prime example of this is the dark mode toggle located in the top right corner. Thanks to the simplicity and effectiveness of Tailwind CSS, this component is fully operational with static rendering and some basic JavaScript. This means it can be used in any render mode without the need for an active server socket connection or initializing WebAssembly binaries. This can be particularly important for any components that are used in the Chrome or the outside of the main content of your site. For example, if this dark mode toggle did require the Blazor interactive server render mode, it means every page of your application would also require that active WebSocket connection. Another standout feature in Blazor for .NET 8 is enhanced navigation. Enabled by default, it improves the navigation between pages by efficiently swapping in new pages without the need for a reload of the entire page and its resources. This provides a similar user experience to single page applications or SPA like navigation responsiveness. And it does this without needing to manage some of the complexities of state or client side routing. While enhanced navigation significantly boosts user experience, it does introduce some unique challenges, especially in feature integration with your own components. In our Blazor view template, we've streamlined this process by implementing a lazy loading mechanism for view components. This is achieved by using the data component attribute, which specifies a path to the modular JavaScript file needed for the component. And we can see how this works in the bookings.razor file under the secure pages folder. We use a simple div with a data component attribute pointing to our bookings.mjs. And this actually uses the service stack view components library, which enables us to automatically integrate with auto query services and manage our data in our bookings table. So by using Vue.js with Blazor's static rendering, we get all the benefits of interactivity without the trade-offs of WebAssembly's long loading times for initial loads or persistent WebSocket connections that only really work well in low latency environments. This method of creating and managing your custom view components enables building fast SEO-friendly Blazor web apps with some dynamic functionality, significantly enhancing the development and user experience without traditional build tool complexities for JavaScript. If you're interested in a larger practical application of our Blazor View template, you can have a look at our updated Blazor Diffusion application. Originally, Blazor Diffusion served as a demo app showcasing the use of our universal API components for building Blazor components compatible with both Blazor Server and Blazor WebAssembly modes. It began as a Blazor Server project, which was later adapted to a Blazor WebAssembly project using a simple synchronization script to reuse our code. However, with the introduction of .NET 8's static rendering mode and enhanced navigation, we transitioned to the Blazor View template, effectively re-implementing Blazor Diffusion for improved performance and user experience. The new Blazor View version of Blazor Diffusion benefits from faster load times, absence of UI jankiness, and enhanced SEO thanks to the statically rendered Blazor and Vue.js driven functionality. This approach eliminates the need for any pre-rendering solutions, providing a more efficient development cycle where changes to view components are reflected immediately upon saving. To appreciate the differences brought by this update, you can explore live demos at blazerdiffusion.com alongside original Blazor server and Blazor WebAssembly versions for which I'll leave a link in the description. 
To sum up, the advancements in Blazor for .NET 8, particularly with enhanced navigation and the Blazor View template, mark a significant stride in web app development. These improvements facilitate the creation of faster, more responsive, and SEO-friendly applications, catering to both developers and end users. The evolution of our Blazor Diffusion project exemplifies these benefits, showcasing how Blazor now supports a wider array of development styles and performance needs. With these tools at your disposal and potential for building new cutting edge web applications, it's more accessible than ever. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions or feedbacks for our templates or videos, let us know in the comments below, as well as your experience with Blazor for .NET 8. You can also join us in our community Discord or GitHub discussions, for which I'll leave links in the description. Service Stack is free for individuals, so anyone is welcome. And as always, thanks for watching.